Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Plum Wild Podcast. It's Wednesday, March 6th. I am Damian Kiefer, and as always, I am joined in the booth with my best friend, Nathan Waddell. Tonight's episode... Oh, dude, dude. Hey, hey, Kiefer Tradition. Tonight's episode is presented by Majula C Speed Shop. It's in. It's the number one community in iRacing to learn and win. The sets are fast, the community is strong, and someone will always be there to answer any questions. Use code PLUMWILD for 15% off at checkout. That's code PLUMWILD. Big thanks to Majula C Speed Job for coming on board for today's episode. Uh, so we got a lot of talks out today, but first, how are we doing today? Good morning. Yeah, I was muted, but I'm doing good. I'm 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 back now, but yeah, I'm doing good. Wow. And uh, yeah, like I said, Hannah's Hannah's been gone, uh, so you know, just kind of living and trying to trying to make it without her. Man, it's tough. But you you've you been doing good. We've been doing good, staying busy. Uh, made a billboard this week. That was kind of exciting. I was starting to build, make a billboard at the house. Uh, race car wise, though, been fixing her up. Yeah, it was a. Uh, hey, you had the toilet bowl. We had the toilet bowl this past weekend. Uh, that's probably the last thing, or the first thing in the sequence. Yeah. Of let's order talk, events. Let's, let's uh, talk about it, dude. Toilet bowl Friday night rained out, which is fine and dandy. Uh, Saturday show up, we start like three hours late which is normal wait it's like it was like the opposite last year wasn't it like last year you it was we, we it started was, early no it, you you ra- you raced on friday night and it rained yes. out saturday so yeah it rained out like midway year. through the race yep um yeah kind of opposite deal hot laps go out there i have a car spin out in front of me and it destroys my shit um that yeah sucks. Ho- the whole right side was is was on the ground. Um, yeah, not great. Damn, not great at all. In hot laps, dude. In hot laps, qualified, qualified fourth. After... Kind of missed the line, but yes, after you, ripping off the right side, you got everything fixed up pretty good in between practice and qualifying. Was you we'll stretching? Say, yeah. Was you stretching? We were stretching. It? Yeah. We were stretching it. Um, qualified fourth, which wasn't great wasn't bad it was only a tenth off quick time um yeah i know and then feature time started fourth got to second pretty early um then took the lead actually and how long is a few lap 20 laps a little short feature well yeah, that's what the umps were too suit the supers were only 25 but there was also 10 cars racing oh, wow. or 10 classes um then lucas i was in lap traffic and i had a car kind of come across kind of scared me a little bit so i went high and the top was not any good it was pretty much just run the bottom run the bottom run the bottom and i got up lucas lee got under me and i actually beat him into three but i was gonna have to chop his nose and i wasn't gonna do that you're not gonna do that to lucas lee of all people no, and <laughs> whenever I got tangled up with a lap car, it hit my right rear deck, and it broke my T bar on my deck, and my T bar was in my tire. And how after how, that? But how many? We laps still was managed to set probably like seven. So that was just a little after midway. So okay, yeah. So you finished second finished to Lucas second, Lee which, because which of bad. at his rough. home track. Well, and and there was it was kind of. A shitty deal with the the lap car so my question yeah. is what did you learn like if you could go back and do it again what would you do different in that scenario i think we go back we win like guarantee like we would we would have been a no i'm saying like if you just go back to just that scenario just that i, I would i think i chopped his nose a little you don't do anything different with break. the lap car no oh the lap car i stay committed in my line i don't i don't move okay that's what I was getting at. Like, if you because go back to like before the lap, because the lap, because the lap, well, like what kind of happened was he was pushing in three and four, and he pushed up to the wall, and he was wheel locked left. You know how in the iRacing you see people wheel locked, mm-hmm. and you're terrified. Yeah, 
It was especially so bad it, whenever there it was like bugged, you know, that for yeah, like a long time. But that's like what was happening. And he was cranked left and coming across the front straightaway. He like just darted across it. And I kind of like went up to like just be safe. Well, they messed me up. But I had a few cars that I had to pass high and then they ended up pulling off. So like Lucas Lee was trying to catch up to me and didn't have to pass any lap cars. They all just pulled <laughs> off after I passed. Yeah, them. yeah. So did you know like, what the heck? Did you know he was he was like, you know, close or were you just completely unaware of where he was? I didn't know he was that close, but I knew he was like there in a way cuz like even whenever I was behind him, like I was pretty close to his speed and he was pretty close to my speed, especially in clean air. Um I felt like we had a little bit more traction, but he steered a little bit better. So overall Overall, we learned a little bit. I yeah. uh, got to hit the car a little bit better, but I think we learned, though, so that's progress. So, second place at the toilet bowl, I mean... Again. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe you know, you'll get that monkey off your back next year. And it's always good to, uh, you know, like I said, learn from it and try to, you know, figure out yeah. what the positives are to take away from it. Uh, and and learn from the mistakes, and so maybe you know next time, you know you uh, you don't wreck the car in hot laps, and you don't um, you know. <laughs> the night goes a lot smoother. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Maybe that maybe maybe I was getting airtight because or that I was getting free because the air was going under the right rear because the right rear quarter panel was barely hanging on. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? Man. But who know? Then we had NWRA. Yep. Had NWRA at I fifty five. I um. I uh. I didn't practice, but like, I don't know, maybe 60, 70 laps. And it was like 30, 40 minutes before the race with you. It was like yeah. race, race setup time, you know? And I, I, much. I was looking at the sets and the sets that I had were kind of old. Um, but they were, you know, they were for I-55. So I was like, I don't know. And so I tried the, the feature set and I was like, eh. Eh. And then I tried the Lucas Oil feature set from CFM at at I fifty five, and it felt better. Um, but yeah. I still, I just had no clue, you know, what about like a, a qualifying setup, right? And we go in there, and I set, I think second or third quick time in practice. So I was like, well, I guess it's hey, all I right. Think I was, I think I was quick time. I Man, think you, you were. were like one two. Yeah, I th- well, no, I think Every Jesse split us. I think Jesse Every split time us. I'm- Every time I'm quick in practice, dude, and I suck qualifying. Yeah, I sucked in qualifying big time. Uh, I went, I went pretty slow on my first lap, and then second or third lap because I, I kind of re-swung for the third, and uh, I was able to get a little quicker. But I, I, I fucking saw Yeager and uh, and Connor New up there at the front, and I was like, "What set are these guys on?" And they were on the fucking Lernerville set. <laughs> I was like, all right, wish I would have known that. But, uh, yeah. so then I went to the Lernerville set for the, for the heat race and felt, felt pretty good for the heat and yeah. got into, I started fifth. I think I qualified like 20th for like the third week in a row. I think and, I qualified 16th or something. Yeah. So, and not far from you. I got one spot to make it into the final transfer. And, but you had, I think you had a pretty good battle in your heat race, didn't you? No, I started third. I qualified twelve. Oh, that's what it was. You, because I gave you shit for it, because you you I started third. You got past, because I think it kind of went to the top, and then you fought yeah. like hell. And I was like, "Hey, good race. You gained nothing." <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I kind of yeah, I got stuck on the bottom there, and then it got past, and then I got past again, or I passed another car. So. I lost one, gained one, kind of just did nothing. Started twelfth in the feature, and then we were riding. We were riding. At man. least I thought we were. We were just cruising, you know. It. Look, this Nathan had other intentions. He was ready to go right, right. now. I'll let you. I'll let you tell your. Squirrels. I'll let you tell your story. Go ahead. All right, I'm watching these two squirrels in front of me beat and bang off each other like they're their best friends. All right, Lovers. so they're beating and banging. They're sliding each other. They're driving over each other's front end. They're putting each other in the fence. 
So I just go to the bottom. And that like, was that was nope. Hayden Tolleson and uh, and Andrew Clark for the record. Yes. Um, I just turn. I just go down, run the run around the bottom of the infield. I'm like kind of there, kind of not there. Um, I want to be completely out of the way because they were driving like squirrels. Yeah. Um, and if they wreck, they're gonna go up. Other. Yes. And so then this number five car comes to my outside and wants to start racing me while these other two squirrels are beating and banging still. And then they beat and bang. Nathan gets a run on the outside. I'm at his left rear. He wants to come down the racetrack on my nose. And then he said, I should have left it. And it got <laughs> me killed. But So, yeah, that's that's basically what happened but from my perspective i was like all right well Kiefer went to the bottom i, I guess i'm gonna just try to see what i can do up top and then i was like hey these squirrels are kind of like beating and banging <laughs> and then i was like i guess i need to go like a lane down and i tried to get, just go to the middle because i saw like they had like gotten into each other a little bit and i was they're like about they're, to they're about to kill each other and then yeah. what was so dumb was like i went down to the middle because i could have swore they were about to kill each other and then they didn't like they got all sideways and shit, but they were gone. And I was like, "What the fuck was that about?" And uh, and then you got turned by Zimmer, and Zimmer got an EOL for that. Did you look at the he replay? Really? He got an. I think no. it was. Yeah, he. I think it was Zimmer. He got an EOL for that. Oh, I feel bad for Zimmer now. Yeah, I do. I, I looked at the replay and I was like, "Look, you know, I, I I, I'm not trying I to." Thought he would got a. I, I would have put that on Nathan or my. I just been a racing deal, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that was me trying to avoid some shit. You not lifting. If anything, it should have been on you. But yeah. Wow. <laughs> no. Um, this guy comes across my nose. Yeah. Well. That's right. I love coming That's across right. your I, nose, I, but I drove back up and two behind you and had an opportunity to pass you back, but I just wasn't very good. I drove up to seventh, um, and I, I don't know if I ever got to sixth. I might have gotten to sixth, um, but. Yeah. I gotten into somebody, and I swear I just keep getting damaged in these friggin' races. Um, but I'd, I'd gotten a little bit of damage, I think, left front nose, uh, door damage. Um, I mean, the car was a little beat up, but uh, just really didn't have anything about... It was a 55 lapper, I-55, and with about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 to go, I just didn't really have anything. I, was, I thought I was ripping, but uh, oh well, you know, but... Uh, Speaking of of calls, making calls, dude, did you see that SLR is back? SLR is back, up and running. Looks like, I'm pretty sure he was straining right now. Yeah. Um, or was. I, uh, I thought, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> I've ran his races. We talked about it last week about him shutting down. He, he has quit and started back. Over the course of the last two years, probably six or seven times, he's quit and started back. This, I believe, may be the quickest turnaround, though. But he's, he had his shit for sale. He said he was not coming back. He said, no, sir, this time is different. And then what do you know? He, he goes he live. Back. Yeah, and I don't know how I feel about it. I, it's just kind of weird to me. Uh, more power to him. To, you know, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. I just think it's a little, a little odd, um, the way he he quits and then it's just it. I don't know, man. It'd be like if we, you know, said, you know what, we're done with the Plum Wild podcast, and then you know, two weeks from now, we'd be like, all right, here our next guest is, you know, and then you mm -hmm. know, three weeks after that, we're like, oh, we're we're done again, and then you know, I, I just. Eh. Something about it seems uh, disingenuous. Uh, no, no offense to him. I just it's a whole weird situation. Uh, yeah, and I I just don't really know how to feel about it because he is a a nice guy, but again, it's just kind of weird. Like it, it, yeah. it just gives me this weird vibe, and I don't like weird vibes. I can barely take you. You know what I mean. I'm just curious if I have to get it, if it's a new Discord, I have to get a new invite, don't I? I think you probably will have to go through setting up a Discord again. I don't know if 
Like I haven't is even you, looked is into. Is there an it. SLR Discord again? I don't know. I haven't. Does he delete? I'm pretty sure he deleted all of that. I think that. he deleted the Discord. I don't know. It's that's what's like just odd to me. You know, like I don't don't get me wrong. I have quit before. I have I quit. You know, I streamed way back in the day. I say way back in the day, like uh, mid to, mid to late 2021. I streamed for three, four, maybe five months, but I had a legitimate reason that I gave. I was like, "Hey," and I and I said, "I might do this again, but for now, I'm I'm not going to stream anymore. I'm not going to make content anymore because I want to focus on the competitive side of it. I feel like this is holding me back." And then whenever I got to a point where I was like, "All right." I don't think that streaming would hold me back anymore. Uh, a year and a half or more later, I was like, all right, let's see if we can do it again. And we've, we've been, you know, making content ever since. It's just, it's odd to me. I don't, I'm not, yeah. I'm, on the, I'm on the fence. On other right news, there. on new things, we got a track and a car. Yeah, yeah, we did. We got a... Uh, Millbridge Speedway yeah. and the non-wing and the winged micros um and the srx I, and the srx on dirt uh and we got rain yeah lots we of got, new weather settings yep we got um, rain outs finally there's a, there, there's a bit yeah so I howard heard. weavers howard weavers claim to just go inside <laughs> if it's raining <laughs> yeah that picture is no longer valid you know the uh that's the yeah. great thing about sim racing is that there are no rainouts. If it starts raining, just bring your computer inside. That is one of my favorite pictures, by the way, that meme. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what happens if the spring fling this year gets rained out, you know? Yeah. They said that it happened, gonna... that it got rained out last year. I mean, was that just a lie? Is, is drip, dripping rip. He's in here, isn't he? Yeah, he usually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, boys. I see him. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, the, he's all bricked up probably about the new weather settings because you did you know that you can do uh yeah gobbler rained out uh Good. like heat races qualifying and feature time can all be like at a different time of day. I'm pretty like, sure you that's can literally been a have thing. one in the morning. No, but you can have one in the morning. One, yeah, but I'm pretty like, sure that's been a thing though. Super drastically though. But I'm saying I'm pretty sure that's been a thing. I don't think that's been a thing. I think I think, it, I think it's been a thing. I think it progresses through time, like a normal clock schedule. Yeah, but it does. But like you can reverse the clock, is what I'm saying. We can go back in time. Yeah, we got time so travel like, now. So this eye racing update was time. huge. Yeah. Yeah. See. All right. It's all brand new. See, he, even drip wrist, it's all brand new. All right. Oh. Chat, he's he's listeners. right. He's right. I knew it was. Nate's trying to be telling me I'm wrong. Hmm. Well, my bad. You're 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 right. We that what could in, that it? could introduce like a bunch of cool things. Like, well, I think I think it's just gonna create a, like even like with the leagues and stuff like the the unknown again. Like you yeah. can just boom, it's a daytime race. Oh no, no, now it's a nighttime race, or it's gonna be heavy. Now it's gonna be, and I they think a lot of the things they change is gonna be for the better. But I think that's what we kind of needed was a track update like that. Have you tried? Probably. Have you tried? Uh, I'm, I, I know. Haven't. I know. Okay, so it's been. Um, it's been the late models. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, it's been you know micros and and Millbridge like all day yesterday and all day today. But I I got two things I want to say about this. I tried supers at Eldora because that's kind of like my go to to test shit. Um, I tried supers at Eldora with like a, a very slick track just to see. And I mean, the first thing I want to say is I, I felt like in the wheel, the wheel just felt like it was vibrating. Like it had the regular amount of force feedback, but it felt a little bit stronger and it felt like the wheel was vibrating. Like I could almost feel the vibration of the, the drive train or something through the the wheel all right i'm making about five i'm on like lap five of this little test session that i'm in just test drive and then all of a sudden my force feedback just slowly fades away and i'm like what the fuck uh so having wheel issues over here it's it's uh definitely odd uh but 
Supers didn't feel any different, to be honest. Uh, but that was on a pre-gen track. I don't know. You know, it might be it might be different. But um, I, I I did we did run some some micros. We did. We did. You, you have a lot of experience like with it. a micro. I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. So. I am a midget myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I have you know it just it fits. A midget with a lot of experience with micros. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you about ready to bring on our special guest for this uh, week's episode? Yeah. Uh, yes, I think it's about time for our special guest. All right, well, we will be right back with our special guest, Ethan Toder. All right, we are back with our special guest for this episode, Ethan Toder. He the, was the driver of the 23T machine in last year's World of Outlaws Late Model Pro Series. He's one of the fastest and most popular drivers on the sim, and you can catch him in pro or super late model officials driving the Dale Jr. number eight Budweiser machine. Ethan, welcome to the Plum Wild Podcast. Thank you. Did we or been... any other rap. Yeah, like, any, any other rap that's not Ethan, his. That's not his. That's like... The biggest thing I've noticed about Ethan in like the last six months, probably not eight months that I've been on, uh, Ethan does not run his rap. He runs other people's raps, and other people run Ethan's rap. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> I've noticed that too. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been when out... I hit people, I don't want them to know. So <laughs> we we know it's you. Them, they don't care. We know it's no, you. Never. Never. Uh, but yeah, like. Um, I've seen you in the um, the Dale Jr. rap, like I mentioned, and I've seen you in like that OG Bloomer rap. Like, what's the deal with that, dude? Like, you just ashamed to run the twenty three T now? No, everybody just kicks me off their team, so I can't stay on a team long enough to keep a logo on my car. So oh, why not run man. somebody else's logos? Yeah, oh, see, I, the Budweiser car the car is iconic. I know, dude. I, I, I ran against you, or I ran, you know, uh, in so many officials with you for a short period of time there where you were in the eight car or I like, I'd see you in other officials in the eight car and, and then you changed it. And I was like, what the fuck? Who's this guy? <laughs> I guess that's yeah, what you, you got to do, like, right? You just got to run it yeah. until people catch yeah, on that. It's you. And then you got to swap it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got to change when it goes to a different track. Charlotte's for Dale. Oh, Charlotte okay. Dale. That's that, fair. That that's actually fair. makes little, sense. Little, little Lee, man, you know, it's my only get... good track. So, why not make Dale look good for once? Yeah. Yeah, well. You, you got, you know, I've actually, Ethan and I are ex-teammates. We had a breakup. Um, yeah. No, no, not not me and Damien. We didn't, we didn't break up. No, we didn't break up. We still made out, like, on yeah. the side. Yeah. It was weird. Um, <laughs> no, I just, but you have more than just Charlotte going for you. You have. A few other things. No, I'm just teasing. There's, but there's a couple of them. Well, Port yeah, Royal. You did, I... make, you did make Pro Series. Yeah. Uh, we made Pro Series and made uh, one show. Yeah, Was that good. it? Hey. We but made you got a top five, though. Made... Yes, we did. Damn yeah. straight. You know, I was actually hey, looking at that. If you would have made the rest of them, he would have had a top five in the other ones, too. Yeah. yeah one sure for one. <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You know where that track was? Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't put those two together. I didn't put two and two together. There. That's pretty funny. Uh, that's funny. I was actually looking because I, I knew you were in the Pro Series, but I completely blanked whenever I was kind of doing the research on the, for this episode. I, I, I kind of blanked on like how you did on it. Um, and so like <clears throat> you, you made that one feat. I didn't know it was just one feature that you made. That's yeah, that's rough. Might have, might have made one more. I think the rubber think. down Cedar Lake we were in. Yeah, you were in that one. Cut, yeah, I had Honeycutt screaming at me, calling me an idiot and everything yeah. else. You had gotten in. Was it was it you and you and Loic got together? Me, Loic, and then I'm pretty sure me and Honeycutt, and then Hardy went flipping after that. Yeah, you were the. Yeah. I remember. Actually, I do remember that. And I, I hate to like bring it, but like you were the last car on the lead lap in that race, actually. <laughs> I know, trust me, I know. So, a rough, a rough pro series though. Oh, like, yeah. and I know all about that. I mean, the two that I've been in have been pretty rough for me. Um, but <clears throat> it was, it looked to me like your main struggle was qualifying. Like you 
And I, and that was that's always been my main struggle in pro series. Like it's just so different, isn't it? Like you, yeah. like walk through like walk us through your first pro series race because we always talk about like you know you can imagine it, but like whenever it is actually when there you're actually and you're in loading pro, in, it's, it's different. a different feeling. Yeah, it's like a glorified official race. Just you have nobody over top of it. Yeah. And I guess you're a little nervous. Like, nerves aren't really there because there's no one. You don't have really? Talbot going, this is a spring fling. You race for six grand. Don't be a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. So, I no, mean, I you're just that. out there racing. And then, I don't know. I just can't qualify to save my life. So, but it, like, it's just, it's just, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just like, it feels like it's just, bam, it's right there. It's time to go. Um, like, well, I don't know. Like, you just can't make a mistake, pro series. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah. And, like, yeah. a lot of these. Oh, well, you see some guys complain online about how they say, oh, this guy's cheating or something like that. But at the end of the day, you just literally can't make a mistake. Did no, you? See... There is no mistakes made in this game. Did you see yeah. uh, that post? By, like, by chance, did you see that post that was, that was made about me? What post? It was, it, was in, it, was... it was in iRacing Dirt World. I don't even know if you're in that one or not. No. Some dude... I but... I was, uh, he was. He was accusing people of cheating. He was accusing me of cheating. It was, but oh, yeah, it, he didn't call I, me I out specifically. It, it was so crazy. I don't know if anyone watching it had had seen it or not, or if we've already talked about it or not. But uh, I had ran one of them races, uh, like a fixed super race, and I I challenged myself to start from the back. And this was on stream too. Start from the back in a fixed super race, and I I drove through the field um, and got to the lead and won. I think it was by like lap 23, I was in the lead. And the next day, the next morning, Great I wake man. up and uh, I look at iRacing Dirt World and there's a post about some dude with almost 9,000 I rating that drove from the back of a fixed official and, and won. And the dude was like, he's got to be cheating. There's no way someone's that fast or whatever. And I was like, this is about me. That's crazy. <laughs> It makes no you way. feel good, though. It did. It makes your ego a little bit, uh huh. It, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Well, yeah. but but it, it's funny. Like, well, it is, but like, but you know, like qualifying, like it's within a tenth usually. Yeah, always. So like that's per, like and with a tenth is or like you're dealing with thousands, and that's just all about perfection and just being not moving your steering wheel another eighth of an inch to the left and to the right, just holding it dead straight. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. Yeah, I quit. But, I quit really running a lot of people's Q sets because I can't run a lot of people, a lot of people's Q sets. Yeah. I feel like you have to have something that fits you on this new build, like that you can drive and not what right. somebody else can drive. And I feel like I do. I have a baseline now that I've been kind of similar running since Pro Series. I've tweaked it since then. Q stuck. Uh, Q stuck, baby. That's <laughs> that was the OG. That was the OG name. OG Q uh, stuck got pole at Port Royal. And and got then, tight at Port Royal or what? Is that the no? That was H stuck. That was H okay. stuck. So yeah, H stuck isn't stuck. Or H stuck one. It's too stuck. stuck. Once Kendall H got to my outside, I was like, "This is probably not going to turn. I can't swing it in as good as I need to." This fucker just pushed to the wall. I'm pretty sure you were in that heat race too. I was in it. Trust me. Oh, I was dead last. I got to watch the whole thing. But there's oh. like definitely certain ride heights that I like in qualifying. Yeah. Like yep. that I like, and it's just comfortable because I can hit it every time. All the other stats, I've tried them, like yeah. a bunch of other people's, and I I just I can't be consistent or like hit the line. I just feel goofy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I I get that. The what was difficult? What was the? Uh, I mean, what was the practice regimen looking like? You know, for the pro series at that point, like because I mean, it it sometimes it seemed to to matter for me and sometimes it didn't like some sometimes i would practice a lot and and i would have a decent run and then sometimes then then the next race i'd practice a lot and have a shitty run and then i'd not yeah. practice and have a good run and be like okay i guess the key's not practicing and then back it up the next week with no practice and a shitty run like well it, it, i don't know i feel like fairbury i tested my ass off and i didn't make the show Ran over so Tanner Tomasi. I mean, drove straight through him. Yelled at him for being in my way. <laughs> just frustrating when you put so much time in and you're yeah. this slow. And I was it's like, so mm -hmm. frustrating. It's so frustrating. It is. That was like our first five weeks in the Pro Series this year. The first five weeks, man, I just wanted to like scoot myself. Like, I don't mean to be me like, 
be like that. But yeah, I just was like, man, we're, I'm te- we're terrible, and oh. we had to keep working on it. And I grinded, dude, especially for Port Royal. I like took, I made a serious grind, and well, me and Bocus actually, yeah, and uh, I grinded too the qualifying, it, Not and we else. had a. Gr- no, he didn't. I, I literally, it was funny because that day, like before that race, before the, like before qualifying for any of that, we're in a test session. I sent him the cue set. I sent him the feature set. I sent him the heat set. And I'm like, hey, test the heat set. Oh, no, I'm just going to run the cue set. And so I'm like, all right, whatever. And I, I don't know why. I, and he just like, he's like, he's like, no. I'm like, okay. And then well, the he goes after the heat. He's like, I put the, he's like, I'm going to put the heat set in. I'm like, all right. So he, put oh, the heat, he, yeah. he, he puts the heat set in there and he's never <laughs> drove before. And it's a little tighter than it is, but like only for the first lap, because that was whenever like cold tires is like tighter yeah. or, you know, and I was like, oh no, as soon as he goes. Yeah. In the, but like, yeah, I'm still on the same pretty much base, like ride heights, I guess you would say. Yeah. I changed my other wheel spacings and stuff like that but there's definitely a certain thing that fits you and at the pro series level you have to have something that works for you in order to kind of achieve and uh apparently most of the stuff that worked for me worked better for nathan because he usually out qualified me whatever he did you have those mud miss you know what i mean dude i got yeah those mud miss guys all right (laughs) All right, well, that's all the time we've got. No. <laughs> gonna call me a fucking mud missile. That's that's enough time out of you. No, uh, let's let's back it up. Let's back up before pro series, before even pro qualifiers. Let's go all the way back. We usually ask this question first, but we got ahead of ourselves. Uh, I want to know. Most people always want to know this question for from me or from Kiefer or whatever. Um, but it's how did you get into sim racing? How did you get into i racing? Uh, we had a lot of guys around us that had it. Uh, guys from around me that I raced with, IRL, they helped me crew and whatnot. And they were like, during the winter, they just get I race. And then I got it. And now I'm sitting here maybe five years later and still on this damn game. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, it, it it's been almost four years for me. And I, I still get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Did you? But I never imagined that I would be in any like anywhere near as good as I am. Did you kind of have sort of a, a semblance of an idea that like, you know, you would get to your level, get to, you know, make pro series one day or was, was it just a slow grind? I mean, I'll be honest with you. I had no clue what officials were, didn't know what any of this was when I got on, just got on to get on. And I mean, I'm really confident. I think Kiefer knows this. He was, he was on VLR with me. I'm really confident. I will talk my shit. So, I mean, coming out the gate, I'm just going after everybody that I race with. And, <laughs> I mean, I'm beating them, so I'm, like, I'm one of the greatest things ever. When did you and, get humbled, yeah. though? You had to have gotten humbled at some point, right? Because yeah. I, I, there, I got there, humbled there. at one point. I thought I got on, and I, and was, I was... It the, was it the Volusia race whenever you were streaming? No, 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 no. no. Way before yeah. that, I was... Um, it was like my almost like my second week, maybe, or, or less. It was limited officials was what I was running, and I was waxing ass at Lernerville. And I was like, damn, I might actually be all right at this. And then I got in there with someone, I don't know who it was, that was actually halfway decent in them, and I got my shit waxed. I was like, okay, there's still some work to do. Yeah, I got in a spring fling accidentally. I had someone pay for pay to get in the spring fling, and then they gave it to me. I didn't know what this was, so I had uh, Matt Logan, He when he was around, he sent me sets, and I mean, I ran those, and I won a B-Main and thought I was the greatest thing on this sim. It's like these sons of bitches just let me win a B man. I'm winning the feature. I don't. I'm pretty sure I got lapped. Oh Jesus! <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. No, yeah, we all I, get humbled I, at some point. I had one of those moments as whenever I was I I, I bought. So like, I, I'll just be honest with what I used to do. Like when I first got into like the official side of things and start trying, I guess, and wanting to win races, I bought a I bought a rocket racing setup and then I I, I moved on because I found some better stuff. Uh, I went to pay to win actually. It's unforgivable. I bought, a Zach, I bought a Zach McSwain set because it was like the cheapest one at the time. It was like ten bu- or like eight bucks or something. And I just went and won a Bob Split Official Super Race at Volusia by like two seconds. I'm like, I'm the man. <laughs> I'm the man, this is all it took was a setup. He said it's lonely then, at the top. <laughs> and then, 
And then we go, I go into the next race. I load up to the next fish. So it's like 5.45. I jump to the 7.45. I'm like, all right, dude. And I see it like, I'm like, I'm running with all of these guys. Like, this is a big race. And you had Blake Majulis in there. Zach McSwain was in there. Hauser was in there. Dylan Wilson was like, it was like, at the time, I have no idea. I'm like, who are all these guys? They're about to get waxed. I just want to race, dude. And I go in there, and I am qual. I'm barely, I'm barely made the show, barely, by the fucking skin of my teeth. I think there was twenty six in the server, and it takes twenty, takes twenty. I think 18. there was only eighteen. If it's an I made it with the B main, and then I got lapped by like lap eighteen. I'm like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> I'm like, they're not selling with me what they're driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's always the go-to that's always the that, that go-to was that was my immediate uh response i was like god damn it dude but yeah that was it was at volusia i joined and it had all like the pro guys at the time in there and i'm like who are these guys yeah <laughs> that could have been like a practice like they had stacked an official to practice for like pro series if that was it, 2020 it very, very, very well it could have been Honestly, like before Pro Series in yeah, 2020, because 20 like, Volusia was the I, opener for that. But I joined that thing. I joined that race, and I saw those names, and I thought I was somebody. <laughs> you were Man, like, I "I'm about to wrong. let these guys know who Damian Kifa is." <laughs> <laughs> they gonna remember this name. And they remember laughing him. <laughs> like, oh, that guy! How what? we laughed him by like like what 20, 18, something like that. <laughs> Man, I was I looked through I was embarrassing. I could I was like, man, I can't I got no traction. That was back whenever the tracks were super slick in twenty twenty. Uh or slicker. And I got I had no grip. I'm hitting the gas going nowhere. Uh I learned a lot though that race. That definitely was my like biggest humbling moment because I after I won that official in the bottom split, <laughs> I was like Who are you messing with? That's what I'm saying. Like you, you got to get humbled every once in a while. Yeah. Um, no, definitely. So, you, we had uh, the 2023 Pro Qualifiers is the one that you made it in. Have Have you ran qualifiers like every year, or was this your first year like going for it? Really? Really, the first year going for it, right there. Yeah, and you yeah. you made you made like I think top ten or top fifteen, I think in in the qualifier points. Yeah, made, I think we ran 13th or so. Made it in, yeah. regardless. Um, but like, like uh, the two of us here, we uh, we didn't have a good enough season in the in the actual pro series, so we got to run qualifiers this year if they're it's having. Gonna be a them. rowdy. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I I kind of was gonna say like we can kind of just talk about what we're expecting going into the into the 2024 qualifiers. Um, as far as you know, the competition of it, the. Uh, the names, the what tracks, how the racing will actually be. Like, I think we could probably get another weird schedule. Like, I, I really would not put it past them to like give us the like put fucking Kern on there on the on no. the no no. I, I, put Kern on there. I, that's what I'm saying. I, if they I don't Kern want them to. There, I don't want them to. But stop. I wouldn't don't put it past them, dude. That in, don't speak that into existence. If they put fucking Kern on there, I'm gonna. Sh- strangle someone yeah i hope i hope for for once they put el door on there i love it. Eldora. i would have to, i'd have to i'd have to buy current you don't have current do just use no. as a drop use as your drop yeah <laughs> don't even don't even show up i if they book current i'm not showing up yeah they're, they're, we're talking about the pro series qualifier schedule if it was a schedule right now yeah and we're trying to you you are running it, right ethan like you you, you don't run it. They, and i'm iffy it depends I don't know. We'll see how the first race goes. There's so many fast kids on this game now that can know life it. And when you have a job, you're out of the loop and you're here and there. Everybody's got an ego now. There's no admins. They're they're gonna hit the shit out of everything that's on the racetrack. I do feel like there needs to be an admin system, but like in the qualifiers, it's tough. But like at least in the pro series. Wait, back up. You were just talking about just a little bit ago about how you can you have an ego. You can talk your shit, and you're gonna call other people out for having an ego. Oh yeah. (laughs) I look past myself. (laughs) Yeah. Well. uh, You gotta look behind yourself, Nathan. Quit looking behind yourself. 
I, I'm not. Look, look forward. Hey, you know, I got the mirror on. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> we were talking about yeah, that the other day about how you can change the the size of the the virtual yeah. mirror, and I was like, yeah, I made Nathan, mine bigger. Yeah, yeah, this is the biggest. <laughs> Extra yeah, Hayden large. Tolson, this whole damn screen. Hayden Tolson, just the entire screen. He doesn't see the race car. Hayden, he just has a spider telling him where to go. Oh, Big H, man. He's he's uh, yeah, the old Big H. Um, but yeah, like the uh. The con- like you mentioned, the competition level. I don't know, like it's it does feel like it's it's bigger almost, like out out of the people that aren't locked in. But I just feel like that that twenty twenty two pro qualifier year was just so insanely stacked because there was a a gap year for like a lot of new names to come in that like you knew were locks, like Kiefer, you know Barrett Bishop. Uh, who uh, Yeager, you know, wasn't in, and and he had to go through like that year was insanely stacked. I think it could be very stacked, but it's not going to be like that. Twenty twenty two. You don't have this quality of drivers no more. Like you don't have a year. Well, the racecraft of those drivers was a yeah. whole different brand. Like a lot of these guys now are just driving. A lot of people drive over their heads, in my like, opinion. Like look at um, our starts now. Our starts in all these races were. Why are we starting in turn seven. three? <laughs> I knew it. We're starting in turn three to try to beat a guy. Like, I, I don't know. I was in a Charlotte official. I ran four or five Charlotte officials this week. There was only about five starts that were normal, and all five of them were mine. And I started, <laughs> and like, you were probably in those. Like, I start normal. Yeah. I started race normal. People try to jump me because they want to go early like everyone else does. But I just start the race in the middle of the fucking corner. We had a hell of a race in Charlotte, did we not? Yes. And you can race and you can race hard like that. I had a yes. bunch of bangers this week actually at Charlotte yeah. with people and like Charlotte. I'm not gonna and, lie. That was and and like me and Hauser had a banger of a race. I was Gavin Rope uh Rockchan posted on YouTube actually, um until he lagged out. Lord knows that. But I had a bunch of really good races there. Um you can race really good like that. Um but Charlotte is the best track on the game, probably for raciness. And but like that was the first time we've had a bottom two work like in majority of the races too, yeah. like ever. Like you ever seen a bottom like consistently be like, oh, let's go run the bottom. I can run the bottom all fifty laps. Me. Literally. I mean, you've but, seen Jordan all week. He was in, I think, every official. Like he no lifed it, and he did not leave the bottom. Well, he left the bottom in the one that he beat me, but he I well, I had to do it. Well, yeah. If if it makes you feel any better about the qualifiers, like the, I think every single year of the qualifiers that Charlotte has been on the schedule, and I'm, it's usually the last week. So I mean, yeah, there's yeah, one good race, last, you know. Yeah, I went dead last and ran down Hauser last year, and then we had Durgan do what Durgan does, and last lap he throws an insane slider from about fourth, and mm-hmm. he still made it. We're good. I. I was pissed that that race uh, because I started third and me and Robbie Buchanan got into it. Uh, I think maybe lap one, turn three and four. I, yeah. I was, I slid him because I wanted to get to the top and I, I guess I didn't slide up high enough. He thought that I was leaving him a lane. I, I really thought I'd throw and we got into each other and it killed the car. Oh, I was so pissed because that was the last one, and I was like, "All I need to have is like a semi-decent run here, and and <laughs> I'm in." And what do you know? I fucking have a shitty run, and I have to rely on a damn provisional again. Uh, I think I had to go to the front in that race because I qualified terrible once again. Went through a B main, finished like fourth in the B main, just to barely make it. And then I think it was Evan. I, I want to say it was Evan, Evan or Blake, one of them. Just put me on something that would roll middle because they knew everybody was going to chase the top, and we went through the middle to catch Hauser. No, dude, that was. I remember that race. I had the damage, and two or three races before three, wherever, whichever one was port, I had gotten into the wall, and I asked Kiefer, I was like, because I was running like fourth. I had gotten into the wall, and I asked Kiefer, I was like, how's my right rear? And then I said. You know what? Never mind. Lie to me. And he was like, oh, the car's good. And the car was actually good. But I told him to lie to me. And then that race at Charlotte, I knew the car was fucked up because I was going backwards. And I said, how's my car? And he, I think he said, it's good. I said, don't fucking lie to me. Tell me what the car is. I need to know if I need to just absolutely piss pound the wall. 
he was like, it's fucked up, dude. And I was like, all right, we got to <laughs> we gotta get it going. It's uh, it's brutal. The old port was so fun. The old port was so fun. I think I... during qualifiers, I went up there and I like purposely backed into the fence under caution so I could run it the right way. Yeah, to get oh, that little bit of... Out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Down to your right frontal. But it felt like 2020. It really did. Like that cushion at port felt like a 2020 cushion. You'd go yeah, in there. Man. I was smashing the brakes like an old Rayburn and smash off the fence and going. Keep for Finally, what? Uh, the cushions are going to be building different now on the late model side of things. I know people have a lot of, or like just the cushion builds different on all the tracks now. But I could be wrong. So like we could be talking out of our tail right now. You, I mean, too, you're the only one that's saying that. That's He's, what I heard, but I haven't really tested them. So I haven't so. tested either, but this is like, I'm just going off what people are selling me. Yeah, so hearsay. Objection. Um, hearsay. So, speaking of port, though, you you have won... Uh, I, I I don't know if you would call it a big race. I would call it a pretty big race. You won that, that spring fling practice race, right? Yeah. At, at yeah. port? That whenever they were like trying to decide on, and I remember watching that race, and that was a fucking banger of a race. You came out of nowhere, and I know that that's kind of like a just a random race to like talk about, but that was such a. It, there was it was it was a huge practice race. Like everyone was in there, you know. Yeah. It was it, you had Blake, Evan, Hauser, and basically every other name that was gonna be in a spring fling feature race. Anyways, yeah. was in that. And who comes out on top? Ethan Toder, like I said, out of nowhere <laughs> with like, like two or three, five laps to go, something like that, just comes out of nowhere and wins the damn thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just love Port. I haven't raced it on this build yet because I was banned when it went there for officials. And mm. uh, I just, I love Port so much. I love the fence there. It actually feels like a real cushion. I mean, banging off the off the wall with your right front might not be too real, but it was no. it's still fun. I, love I mean, it. I I've banged the right front off the wall at your home track, Florence, before, and <laughs> had know? some sparks flying. Uh, it it, it is there. possible, and it was faster. I just don't know if it was like safer or necessarily yeah. smarter, or if it would um, hold up. <laughs> or <laughs> more than a couple of those hits. Yeah, I don't think the real car is gonna hold up compared to the iRacing car because iRacing car you could literally. Just side swipe it, just like, and it but bounce right up. It pisses me off whenever I get damage from little shit, like what feels like little shit. But I I brought that that port race up, uh, also to ask like, you win that that practice race, how confident were you about like the actual fling after that? Like if they, like were you like, all right, now I really hope they go to port. Like I just won this practice race. Like we're feeling good. How confident were you? And then. How much did that change whenever they announced it was Kokomo? Um, <laughs> well, I was tagging Steve in the VLR chat nonstop, saying you put it at port, I'm winning the I'm winning the spring fling. And then they tell us the tracks that they were gonna pick between, and it ends up coming out that it's Kokomo. Thought about not buying a ticket, we bought a ticket, we made the show, and we're sitting on the grid and my PC blew up. Oh shit. Mm. I completely yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> PC <laughs> blew yeah. up. Yes. Yeah. It, no. Yeah, it blew up pretty bad. Like you seen Knox's video of his smoke, and think everybody's seen that. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty much like that. It took shit bad. Damn. Yeah. I I I was completely unaware. So you had to buy like a whole new PC. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. a good it's a good excuse to upgrade. If you it if you sure ask me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's a. Uh, like, how are you going to tell the wife that? Like, well, you're not married yet. Fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fiance. Yeah. Like, how are you going to eventually tell the wife that, hey, computer's on fire? I'm going to upgrade them. <laughs> the way you did that, just like, hey, so, like, computer's on fire. <laughs> you can come look at it. Computer's on but fire. I'm going to order a new one for myself and I'm going to upgrade it. But, like, that's not easy. It's expensive these days. Computer's on I fire. I drop like, I drop like, five I, well, I do that. Holy shit. Mine five was grand. five. Mine was not fun. Look at this thing. Can you see it? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, my damn, yeah. My yeah. damn race car's in there. Jesus. That's fair. Speaking I of... Put, I, I had a monthly payment on mine whenever I bought mine, to be fair. Through a firm, <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> now through... Oh my god. It's like on everything. <laughs> a firm. 
affirm. Affirm, yeah. Uh, what I said the first time. I thought yeah. I thought you were saying like a firm. a firm, <laughs> the law <laughs> like, firm. Uh, yeah. Jesus, this guy's been watching too much Suits. Speaking of uh, of real race cars, though, you do race IRL, correct? I mean, yeah. that's the picture that you sent me was a real car. I mean. Yeah, no, that's just my sister in the race car. I just say that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice. She's cute. I didn't notice the That's, hair. That, that explains the <laughs> pink cute. helmet. Hey, that pink helmet's beautiful, ain't it? I like it. I like okay. it. Hey, I'm getting, I'm getting a helmet made right now with some purple on it. Mm -hmm. So you race IRL. What do you, what do you run? Like you know, engine, chassis, and where do you race at? No, I, I don't know. Crate. We race a crate six oh four. We have a steel block there that you could run against super. It's got enough power, but uh, we throw it in sometimes if there's money around the house, and then. We really race anywhere between Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee. Gonna try to go to Pennsylvania this year for the Lernerville race. And, uh, Lernerville would be dope. Yeah, just try to spread our wings a little bit so we can get more experience because I'm having to teach myself everything in racing right now. So I don't know. There's a lot to learn. Yeah. There is a lot to learn. Yeah, and it's not like I racing. You can't just go out there. I'm going to reset. This doesn't feel good. I'm no. going to for Q and I feel like dog shit. And here, I, <laughs> here I am bouncing it off the fence. I'm coming back in. Dad's yelling at me for destroying the deck and qualifying. I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Change is not good. Well, that's kind of like, well, like East Bay for me, like just having like what we have against those guys and already putting myself down. And then like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday down there, like we sucked. Like the race car was no good, and we tried shit, and we were testing, and like I was doing, working on it, trying stuff, and then Thursday we changed everything on that race car, yeah. and the race car was better, and then we performed better, and but yeah, no, dude, it's very, very frustrating, and there's yeah. a lot more to learn in the real car than there is on i racing. I racing, there's a lot. The reason why it's so competitive because there's so little to learn. I feel like at times. Cause it's just all about you hit the gas, go load the setup in, you're done. Yeah. Um, and then you usually get the setup that's built by somebody else, or I can go over to right free speed, get me a setup, or if I want to buy a setup, then I go buy a setup. Or like buy a setup IRO. Before, if you're like me, I'm too fuck, I'm stubborn, and like I want to figure. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out myself. Other, damn. other than whenever you bought the rocket set and the pay to win set. Hey. Oh. I still buy sets. I'm not saying I don't, but that was back whenever I like thought I was somebody because you know, uh, but like build like I I I well I gotta figure it out like yeah. in my head like that's me like I'm going to figure it out by myself and find something that I like that fits me perfectly. But a lot of guys don't they don't do it like that. They just want to dink dink dink, and that's fine. That's, that's fine. No, don't say that. No way. I don't, it's, I don't maybe it's stuff. not. I just like I just like learning though. Like I could. Um, I don't like learning. I prefer to be ignorant. It, sometimes <laughs> right. it sucks. Like in the real race and stuff, it sucks running like fourth, yeah. fifth, sixth, some nights. But you, there's the, those nights is when you learn the most. Like you're like, I've oh, yet okay. to win. I've yet to win a damn feature, dude. It's tough. Five once, years once, in, I can't win a feature. Once you get one, then it's in the next year I you get eighteen. Yeah, and however many Kiefer got last year. How many did you get last year? Uh, 19. I got over 20, but I just said nine. I got 19. That was what I counted. Right. Damn. And then you got the but other ones that you were DQ'd out of. Oh, cheating. No, that was only one. Oh. Uh, Should have been 20. How close have you gotten to, to getting a win in, in the real stuff, Ethan? Didn't you break leading the race this yeah. year? Past yeah. year? Mm -hmm. I destroyed somebody leading the race as well. Lap car. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a picture out there. Yep. That's Underneath a... him, looking at his gear. I didn't know what shocks he had on, so I wanted to check him out and destroy <laughs> him. That's tough life, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, um, Chase Hardy in the chat says uh, Toe is the best builder out there. Oh, of course I am. They know. Oh, they yeah. know who it is. They know who it is. Oh if yeah. You need a setup. Just come to me. I don't make you pay. You got that. Kind of like Dude. free speed, but I'm just better than Jordan Casey. <laughs> <laughs> so who, Shots I mean, fired. who, who so are you really? Casey's in here, bro. <laughs> yeah, probably. <That's> <laughs> he is. Fun. There he is right there. <laughs> um, 
who i mean so are you running so, for free speed right now or like who's you, who you kind of i mean you just kind of floating you know i don't know i don't know sped ranch decided they were going to shut down and they were going to bring it back up like peter neuter so i i don't know <laughs> i do should we start should i call should we start calling tanner to honesty like peter neuter v2 peter. or something yeah no he's peter v2 for sure peter v2 okay i like yeah. that because i mean i thought sped ranch was done i'm sitting here looking at a group chat that says ktr i'm lost and what then Tanner saying he's away. Kevin Thomas racing. No, <laughs> Kevin Thomas racing. <laughs> I, don't I don't get know the reference. What it's for. I have Kevin no to, KTJ, Kevin Thomas Jr. <laughs> I don't. He's I don't like get... a. He's like a. He's a sprint car or like wingless driver. Oh, uh, so yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I just float, dude. I asked to be on one team. They told me no, so now I'm just floating. It is what it is. So what is? Yeah. What is? Uh, what would sound better than? Uh, Tanner Neuter or Peter Tomasi? Tanner Neuter. Tanner's, yeah, Tanner's probably taking his last name if that ever happens. I mean, I think we all know. I don't know if you guys know Tanner, but. Oh, I've talked to him a couple times. Yeah, One of the most different. sus individu- individuals I've ever been around. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he comes on the podcast, acts like a goody boy. And I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. He didn't act like himself, did he? Yeah. I'm no like, one I'm ever does. Pose, baby boy. Hauser, like, Hauser, yeah. Hauser, Hauser Tomasi. Uh, not Hauser Tomasi. Ha- Hauser and uh, Majulis and Evan were like the most real that came on here because Evan was quiet, Blake was pretty yeah, real, boy. and Hauser was just his usual, you know, loud self. Blake was pretty real. Blake ain't real. Well, come on now. I thought uh, I thought he seemed he seemed pretty. He seemed pretty like his normal self Blake's is kind of what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Blake ain't. Yeah. Durgan, Durgan was all quiet and shit yeah, whenever Durgan he was, was on. Super quiet, like quiet. Yeah, he was quiet. He was quiet. Yeah, it was, was still a, a good man. episode. He still, you know, had good answers and everything. But most people, whenever they come on, they, they, I don't know. I guess they get camera shy. I don't know. We had Kiefer do the intro. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, I got. I stumbled that. I stumbled that. I got nervous. I had it perfect before in the pre trials. I was test running it. I was running through it. I had my words down. I had the letters all mapped out mathematically. Went in it. Tried to achieve what I had in mind. And I stuttered, you know? It was like car, the carburetor. It was the fuel pressure. <laughs> it, fuel pressure. It was like a lot of his yeah. pro series qualifying attempts. He like he practiced oh. and, and then just couldn't we got really off perform. On a really, really good start. In the middle of it was kind of shit. In the end, we finished off pretty good, you know. But you know what? We have the power of editing. So, like, the people that watch this on YouTube, they might not even see that. Or I might leave it in. You'll just have to wait and see. I would just leave it in. <laughs> yeah, we, might, we might just leave it in. You talked a little bit uh, about, like, you know, iRacing and real racing. Which one did you start first? Were you real racing? Because you said five years for both. You've been re- real racing for five years and iRacing for five years. Which one did you start first? Uh, I started iRacing first, but it wasn't too long after I started real racing. Which one do you think has complemented the other the most? Like, do you think the real racing experience has helped you on iRacing? Because you've kind of grown in both, I'm, I'm assuming, you yeah. know, at, at the same, maybe not the exact same rate, but at a similar rate. So was it iRacing has helped you with real racing or real racing has helped you with iRacing the most? Real racing has definitely helped me with iRacing because all you're going to take from iRacing is traffic. How are you going to work through traffic? You can't take setups. You can't take how you drive these cars. Heck, a year ago, we were driving go-karts around the racetrack. I mean, I was half throttle on the tacky. Yeah. So which one, don't, don't a real car. which build would you say has, has to you, felt the, the closest? 2020 was the closest, but right now, I think the build we're on right now, the cars are very good. We just need like a good Like the track. pedal feel. Yeah. The, yeah. Like, because like, you're in the freaking gas now that's how you are usually if, you're you're in, the fence, yes, if your car is good you're in the gas like yeah when the b mod when the b mod's a b mod like it does like especially at their car spill whenever i hit the line you don't lift it doesn't spin exactly now if you're an a mod you're four barrel you're gonna have to lift a little bit more or probably back it off a little bit um and the super they're probably lifting halfway maybe not even as much as modified because they got grip <laughs> I got my teeth kicked in at the north south with the Lucas boys. Trust me, I started on the stop of that some bitch, and we were last on the backstretch. I'm pretty sure. Those boys do after. not mess around. They, <laughs> they, they get after it. 
<laughs> yes, they do. It's dead slick, and I have somebody come into my window. I want to say it was Daryl or somebody came into my window and was like, can't lift into one. All right. I lift into one, of course. I'm not going to go in there. I don't know what this car is going to do. I've been in a suit for three different, three, for like three times before that. They were launching me out in the front row of a Lucas race. But I mean, I just tell everybody that I qualified pole. It was just tacky and it flicked up. I didn't touch the race car, so. They can never take that away from you, though. They can't. I qualified it was... pole twice in Pro Series. They can never take that away from me. Now, one of them, we know what happened after. We've already discussed it. But <laughs> I did qualify quick time. Yeah. <laughs> They can't take that away from me. You, uh, so you, you said that it, this build is pretty close. We've talked um, on recent episodes. We've been bitching about it a lot, uh, about how the slick is, is too grippy, it feels like. The slick isn't slick enough. Um, and I hadn't got the chance to try it on the build uh, that came out yesterday, uh, not really at least, and not in a late model. What do you, what do you think about that? Uh, about the grip levels in, in the slick and the hard pan or whatever they call it? I don't know. It really didn't change much. I mean, you drive the car the same way through the slick. Like, the cushion's definitely different. The cushion is completely different, but the slick is still... So that's what I was asking, though, is like, you, you say, I guess what I was asking is, is what are your thoughts on the slick as even before the update yesterday? It, way too gripped up yeah. the whole time it's way too gripped because up. like in real life whenever you lose it mm -hmm. what happens you're gone can you I mean, can you ever can you ever even think about no. getting traction back again Never. no in mm -hmm. i racing you can enter in there bit mm -hmm. cock sideways and i'm <laughs> gripped up like at charlotte like this first like th th well i shouldn't say the first few like whenever i'm whenever i'm not don't have damage i should say when i don't have nose damage or something my sh I was pretty good at Charlotte. Um, like, I'm gripped up in the slick, dude. Like, hammering. Like, yeah. like you I should never be, point. like, th that stuck. Yeah. In the and I ran, like, I, I ran the same line pretty much all night. Is that upper mid, upper mid, upper mid, upper mid slider deal. It's all you had to run. Because, yeah. like, the, and, like, and it's so gripped up there. And it was just, you just turned left. And I'm like. Jesus, it hurt you for missing the line no more. Like you can run anywhere. Like right, it, that, oh, it, that's it what I've been saying. Line, half of these kids that are fast right now would not be fast. Yeah, if, you have so many kids that are fast because they can make so many mistakes and be just fine. All they got to do is put a 2010 bar in it, and they can go out there and beat off the fence. And if it moves down, they can be wide open through the slick. No, it just doesn't hurt guys to make a mistake no more. That's yeah. I feel like it's it's so that's much what too I've been easy saying. to be saying. That's ex that's exactly not exactly what I've been saying, but that's a great point that uh, it's it, it boils down to the fact that because the slick has as much grip as it does right now, it's too easy. And yeah. like you said, there the mistakes aren't necessarily as punished as they should be. And because the mistakes aren't as punished as they should be, whenever you run where the grip looks like it should be and you hit it almost to perfection, that line where the slick is that it's, they can hit half ass is still going to be faster chance. yeah the the bottom if you rip it perfect around <clears throat> some of these tracks and you hit your left foot in the grip all the way around there and it's slick top to bottom that left foot and you get you like you hit the bottom perfect it's going to be probably a half a second off like fairberry well, fairberry the bottom never comes in you run it in queue you might run it a lap in the heat race Next thing you know, right rears are getting bounced off the fence yep. and they're driving around you and you're just in the mud. Do you think uh, these cars have too much momentum? Like there's just too it's too much side bite or like the track has too much side bite in it? I feel like they need to take bite away from these cars. The, from the race car. So much traction. From the race car, yeah. Yeah. Well, like the I cars agree. drive good. We just have so much traction everywhere right now. Yeah. Like at Charlotte, you're I I know you're matted probably in real life around that I mean you are. I mean at Eldor I never in a, I know it was modified. I never never even cracked the throttle. Yeah. Like you could put three hundred more horse in there and I never would even thought about lifting. Yeah. Um but so at start place like I at qualifying I never lifted, but like in a slick in the feature time, I'm still three quarter to half full on exit every time and in center of the corner. Yeah. I might be half on entry. But like if you ever if you enter the corner half throttle in oh, a slick at Eldora, yeah. you know yeah. what happens? I mean if your car if your car is good, yeah. if your car is good, it's different. 
But how many people have that car that can go do that at Eldora? And I, don't go in there to... I don't have the 49 <laughs> car. I don't have the 49 car. You know what I mean? No. I'm the only guy that can do that there. I mean, who yeah. who beats him through the middle? Yeah, like, but like you over only, ten per- for like three races, and then he and then Davenport. I guess where's Everton now? That's what I was gonna say. Like that was it. Overton JD's, had his number JD right in the middle. JD has Eldora figured out. Yeah, hundred percent. That that is the best race car there. That, now that, he's got he's got competition with Hudson now because Hudson can beat it off the edge and Hudson can, Hudson can drive. I want to say something. That that race that uh, was that the World One Hundred. That was the World One Hundred that Hudson beat him right. Yeah, yeah. That I think that if JD's uh. What, what do they call it? The, the the knockaway, whatever uh, spoiler, the part of the spoiler that's the spoiler fin that the right side support. Yeah, all that. If that wouldn't yeah. have collapsed whenever he barely got into the wall, it would have been a different story. I think. Yeah, I think one thing also I want to I wanted I've always been curious about because JD claims that that late model that that Longhorn that he runs at Eldora is the same one he's been running for the past couple of years. I believe oh, yeah. it's not I a new one. It. So I Absolutely. wonder how much longer that one car can hold up to Eldora. You know what I mean? Like until it gets beat, until someone goes out there and beats it. Beats he him. got beat. I don't think he changes it. He exactly. got beat, and then he went back out. Like I don't know. It's the same. Like with i racing, are you gonna change a set if you barely get beat? You're leading this entire feature for a hundred laps, and you barely tap the wall, and your right side's gone. That's why I never get away from my good. basics, man. Exactly. I can never get away from my standard because I'm like I've read, like I've been so so close. It just needs a little. Like you just run with like, those guys. Like this whole week, I'm sitting there chasing Rumsey and Barb. Yeah. I still ain't figured nothing out, but I've tried everything, and those guys just haven't figured out. Like they, they're right now is probably when JD was in the six car. That whole Alpha team is probably when JD was in that six car and everybody's trying to chase them right now. Like, I think if Blake and Evan were to come back right now, they'd be chasing them. Because I don't... I know they're taking... They're fast. They're fast. They're really fast. Like, them like like them short races and, like, my... The setup I had, like, that I was building there, tweaking on, because, like, I talked to... And I talked to Casey a little bit on the side. And I've talked to how... I, I've talked... I talked to everybody. Mm-hmm. I like a learning. Yeah. I like learning, though. I just like seeing what other people do. I like and I'll I'll ask him a few questions. I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And my Charlotte set that I had I ended up with was pretty freaking good. Like probably like you could put a few other guys in there. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not, but like you put Hayden Cardwell on that thing or somebody like that. Like I don't know how you're gonna beat them. Yeah. Like right. it's because like I I make a few too many mistakes. Like we actually had that heat race. I ran the bottom that one lap, but I should have never done that. <laughs> I ran the bottom one corner and it was two tenths off and Ethan was on my ass, man. Damien this... is so lucky I liked him because if that's Hauser, any if they're you were I, I don't seven the two they're gone. I'm telling you, you right said... now, they're, the three, they're gone. Did I mic up and tell you that you I'm lucky or you're lucky I like yeah. you or something like that? I so, but like you threw one bomb on me though that was like on my nose and I lifted lifted like. <laughs> a lot for you so i felt like it was just respectable yeah. after that i was like i gave him one maybe he'll give me <laughs> one and he did so i was like Hell i yeah. won't wreck i won't wreck damien i won't wreck, i won't wreck guys that race me with respect like i know damien like he came down to florence and i was helping him at florence a while not a while ago probably a year, probably ago, a, year ago. a year and a half ago yeah when you guys were with apex and everything doing yeah. apex thing because we talked about me going to apex yeah yeah, that never happened. Ethan's just team. Ethan's team hot. Bro. Maybe if maybe if yeah. maybe if Ethan came to Apex, Apex wouldn't have shut its doors. Who knows? Probably uh, not. I mean, I'm one of the greatest on the sim. You guys know this. Yeah, that's that. I mean, I was yeah. advocating for you the whole time, and Kiefer just kept saying no. Like I know. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't like guys who beat him. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, not true. Now, I like the guys that beat me because I like want to learn. You from like getting them. faster. I agree. Yeah, too. I want to. Like after Lucas Lee beat me the other night, he well he ended up coming over to my pits and we talked for like an hour almost, and I went over to his pit and talked over there for like thirty forty five minutes because I'm trying. Hey, you beat me! I'm. A, what are you gonna go? With? What's going on under this hood here? What's what's going on under this ass end? How, how'd you cut this right rear tire? <laughs> but yeah. uh, no, I mean the real racing's definitely made me just be more open to things and uh. 
not everything everyone does is exactly how you need to do it. There's a lot of things that you need to do for yourself and find out for yourself. Um, because even in my real race car, I'm on stuff that no one else does. And everyone tells me it's wrong. And will t tell me my face that will, that does not work. And then I go out there and I beat them with it. And they're like, I don't know how I'm you're in, doing it, but it doesn't I'm in work. A car you know? that nobody thinks will work. I'm like literally in a chassis that everybody says won't work anymore. What chassis are so you in? Was, a CVR. Nobody's... Chip Vineyard. Chip a lot Who of says... people say it. Trust me. A lot of people. What year Everybody's model is it? Everybody's them now. It's a 20. It was Cardwell's championship car. Yeah. That year that Cardwell won the championship. 2021? 22. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that car. And then when this BMF came around, everybody goes to BMF and says that CVRs won't work, and they all told me it wouldn't work down in Kentucky, and here we are. I'm, I ain't left it yet, but I mean, I'll probably buy it. That's, that's like my three link. Everyone tells me that you need to go to that four bar. You need to go to that four bar. My three. Man, it's three link. I'll keep working on it. I'm going to get it figured out. My uneducated theory with the CVRs is that they're very good crate cars. I don't yep. know how well they do with more horsepower. Careful what Same, you say here. No, no, no offense or anything. Careful I just think that they, they, are, they excel in crates, and I also believe that that's the case with Capitals. I don't think Capitals are all that great as supercars, based on what I've seen. That's a hard take. I, it may be. I think Capitals and CVRs hey. are, are hey, better I crate cars. I'll this. say this. They're better as crate cars than they are as... As you know, supers. Ha who is Capital has as, as a driver though? As a driver. As a driver for as a driver Clanton. for Capital. Clanton. Wow. All right. Oh yeah, like in in supers, yeah, Clanton, and then I they had they got Bruning. Tony Jackson now, I guess. I like Tony, but Tony Tony ain't that driver. He can't stick with these guys. Tony ain't doing no. He can win the MLRA stuff, but he's not yeah, winning the Lucas Oil. Who else was in the cap? Who else was? In Chris Madden was in the Capital. When? Uh, yeah, like 18 years ago. When Skyline. No, when he was with Skyline, he was in Capitals. When was yeah, that? I'm talking but recently he with he, Capitals. He didn't, he didn't win <laughs> anything. <with him. laughs> I was, was kind of talking was. about this generation of like, you know. They don't have anybody capitals. to drive them. I That's... mean, Lucas Ruark's in a Capital and he can't drive a hot stick. <laughs> Damn. Run, but he's been running decent, but he's also in the crate car. So like, that's there's that, a crate that's, Capital that's crate car. I'm telling you, Capitals are good supers. You just got to. You gotta find the right one. Well, you gotta find there someone are, that's willing to sit in one of the super, I guess. There's right? a few that's guys. There's, a, there's actually a guy. His name's Michael Clues. He's around. He's a local guy around here. Like he drives late models. He's driving for a long time. He races the Capitals, and he's fast. Yeah. Like, he he's act like he he can race with some of those big boys, and he has actually at Red Hill. Like he's just a local guy, and he ran. He was the only guy that ran with Josh Rice at Red Hill. Yep. And it was. I mean, the Christian Hanger and a lot of other guys were there. So I just, I, mean, I know they're good cars, but they I just definitely do lack in the. I, uh, I want to point out that I did yeah, say yeah. before I said all that shit that that was my uneducated theory. <laughs> I don't know. I just know based off of what I see. All right, yeah, they're good crate cars. They're not bad crate cars. That's they're that's probably a better crate car than a super, probably. That's kind of that was a driver. Kind of like, like yeah. a warrior. Warrior put Overton in the car last year at East Bay. He didn't finish in the top three. But the Warriors can steer, by God. They can steer. Well, that's the, that's the big thing. I mean, it's... I like my steer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's that's the name of the game, is steering. Steer. Mm -hmm. Steer. Don't... That's I mean, because cornering speed is, like, all you really are searching for now, it seems like. And if you can maneuver, then that's that's what you seem to be looking for. Again, this is uneducated commentary from from doing great. this from this corner of the screen over here <laughs> but I, I don't i don't you know y'all feel free to correct me no you're doing wonderful i think okay see somebody should put me in a race car because clearly i know what i'm talking about i mean damien's got a car right there i'd say you just get in that thing i think you know he actually has offered oh that one <laughs> fuck there's his car Kiefer could fit in that not me <laughs> oh shit you met him, right? Think... You know how short he is. Oh, trust me, I know how short Keeper. How tall are you? Are wow. He's a little taller him? than me. A little taller. Him and Blake are like the same size. You ever met Majulis? Yeah. yeah. I've never met Majulis. 
Jill is Blake's, the same size as me. Yeah, Blake's a little guy that packs a big punch. Oh, supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. I wouldn't know. I look, I just know that Kiefer came to my house and and sat in my uh rig and he couldn't reach the pedals. Kiefer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to work this in as many times I as I like can during these like, episodes. I don't like sitting like that, dude. He could Nathan reach my drives, pedals. I give him shit. Nathan drives with his feet. Okay. What? I drive. <laughs> I drive with my leg. I mean. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh. Like he moves his foot. That's well. well that I mean, probably you comes. Entire leg. I just do the same thing in my race car. You got leg motion. Yeah. Wow. Straight like ankle foot. No, maybe that's, that's why, the like, key, dude. After like, you need to move that seat up, Ethan. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why, like, I sit weird. Like, or move Nathan the pedals, I guess. Out. There's a few guys. Well, Hayden Cardwell actually made like a, he was like, "How the hell do you fit in this thing? Or how do you sit in this thing?" Yeah. Um, especially well, like the new. You haven't seen the new car? How I sit in it. Hayden's like um, six foot four, so no wonder. But he I, I sit. I sit like a sprint car. I like my and my pedals. He are, is like my knees are bent, and like I literally <laughs> use my. Yes, my knees are like up almost to the wheel. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how you do that. It's, I'm serious. No I'm, like, sitting I, like I'm sitting like my knees are probably that high. What? Yeah. It's like a, it you looks... can't go fifty with that. There's no way you're racing. Because when, I, cause when I, well, the toilet bowl was only twenty, so. Oh, so he's fine, <laughs> and he's still out of the seat, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> hey. But down there at East Bay, <laughs> down in East Bay before Center Link broke, I made forty with just with those guys, and I was doing just fine. Tired at the end, couldn't feel no. your legs. Dad's driving dude, you out got, of the car. Dude, I got good leg endurance. I mean, I do the same thing on iRacing. racing. I can't. I, I, I don't be, move. I'm not a. I gotta foot. be in a lazy boy, dude. I gotta be laid back. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. I sat in Mefford's car one night because Mefford was talking to me. He's like, "Dude, how do you sit in this thing? I was sitting here." And he sat in it. He's like, this thing, like, how do you drive this? Because, like, my knees were bent. Then I sat in his Elite, and I'm like, oh, my God, this thing is a recliner. I'm like, this is <laughs> not I'm a false I love it. But, I like, literally. you know, I, I literally have a sprint car seat in my modified, and then I have it pushed all the way forward. And I use my foot. I'm not my foot. I use my leg instead of my foot because I'm a firm believer that your leg has more control than your fucking foot does. He, you know what he sounds like? He sounds like the, the people I that have the debate back and forth. I'm telling you, with more. He, you know, he sounds like the the people that debate. I also like race off racing with shoes on. No, go ahead. Sorry, what were you saying? What? Whoa! So I also, I, I, I also race no, no, no. racing with two shoes on. <laughs> yeah, this is actually not off. important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he races with Crocs on. Well, or what? Uggs like these. That we're these two. I race. Yeah. What? Are you are you a sock guy, Ethan? Oh, I can't race without socks on. I have to have socks. So just I wear, I that's what I'm saying. Though. Socks, just socks, just no shoes. Sock. Yeah, just same, sock. Yeah, same. I wear Uggs or these. These are my racing shoes. Or you race need to regroup them shoes. things. That I is weird. Need, I do need that to regroup. But I don't move my. I don't use my foot. I use my legs, so it doesn't matter if I have shoes on. Because I, I don't. I don't need foot feel. I have leg feel. What kind of throttle pedal do you have in your car? The cheapest one you can buy, just a regular hanging one. Yeah, that's your problem. I have floor mounted pedal. When did people start yeah. doing floor mounted pedals? I don't know. Jeremy Steele told me about them, and I bought it the next day, and I love it. Absolutely love it. I've been now. I I, I, I didn't get hung wide open before. Wide open. I I set my foot up in that ridge. I I can't. I, I've never. I've been around so, like, race cars for a long time. To... I've never seen floor mounted in a, in a late model. I love them. Which I don't really look in the in the you know in the cockpit a lot, but that's uh, that's interesting. But it doesn't have the a bar or anything to to un. No, it does. Oh, it does. You're really. I mean, you're really stuck in there. Like if something like big goes on, I don't know how quick my foot's coming out because I mean I have a bar. Bar comes around here. My brake pedal's here. My foot's in there. Uh. I'm about to. I almost put one of those actually leg separators, like rice runs. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen those in Josh's car, but like, because he had them in dad's car, the late model, when I drove that. I love that. Yeah. Like the leg separator. It's kind of goofy, but man, getting out of that. Draft, yeah. But man, getting out of that thing's a little difficult. Oh, it's got to be. A little gotta difficult. Yeah. And you I'm know, just so tight in my seat. 
Speaking of that, you know, I went to see Kiefer Ray set uh, at four eleven, and I was like, I was like, he always talks about his his how he sits in his car. I was like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go there and sit in his car and see what it's like, right? I go over there and I'm looking and I'm like, I'm not even gonna try to get in this thing. Like, I'm not even. I'm only like an inch or two taller than Kiefer, but I'm like, I, I'm afraid I'll get stuck in this damn thing. Like this is this shit looks crazy. Yeah, I don't know how you drive like that. What yeah, uh, you you have a nice seat that you're sitting in, by the way. What is the whole rig that you got? Like, is that just a seat? Extreme? No, it's a whole rig. Um. The deal that was on the iRacing front page, there was an extreme sim racing or whatever. I clicked that. They looked nice. They had a decent price, and then I bought it, and um, me and Hardy tried putting it together, and if anybody knows Hardy, you know how that went. <laughs> I don't know him that well, but I can, I, that, that you can put it, it makes together. sense. Yeah, it, just, just the little that I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I did, I know. did. <laughs> How they let that kid run second in a pro series race blows my mind. <laughs> he says we'll F you in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he he doesn't he's not a big fan of the the, the disrespect right now. I don't, Me and Hardy, we started four years ago together. i he moved in with me last year. Yeah. He moved in with me and he worked with me and everything and then we did my whole race car thing. We had an O four rocket that was beating brand new race cars. And then he moved back home. So y'all, y'all are like besties, huh? Mom. I didn't know y'all yeah, were that I, close. Uh, yeah. We're close because he has a hot mom. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. No, that's yeah. no that, that that actually makes a lot of sense. Me and Kiefer <laughs> are pretty close, but not for the same reason. He's got uh, a hot wife. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, I hope to God Hannah God. is watching. I hope to God <laughs> Hannah is watching. She'll, Damn it, dude! It was just too good not to say that. You know, I like knew that something was. was I knew that something was about to come out of his mouth that was gonna be just so far out of pocket, dude. It's ridiculous, unbelievable. Hey, well, listen, Ethan. I appreciate you so much for coming on the podcast. Uh, we always allow the the guest to you know shout out or you know, say thanks to anybody, uh, before they go. So this is your chance. Yeah. Man. Uh, shout out my dad with Terraza Frenchies. Go look us up on Facebook. If you need a Frenchie. We got a bunch for sale right now. Um, a to B contracting. We do anything. We'll rebuild a house. We'll do whatever you guys need. And, um, and what else? All the speds on iRacing for somewhat keeping it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, Ethan, we really appreciate you coming on, taking the time to uh, to come on the podcast. We've been wanting you on for a long time. so. Uh, and we actually, real quick before you go, he was in a race with me. I was live. And me and Kiefer the night before, we're, we had just talked about, like, you know what we need to have on is, is Ethan. We've been wanting him on. We got, like, an, a couple of openings coming up. Like, we need to have Ethan on. The next day in a race with Ethan, he's I'm live and everything. He's like, hey, when are you going to have me on the Plum Wild podcast? And I'm, I shot him a message right quick. I was like, you're not going to believe this. We were just about to, like, ask you. So we appreciate you coming on, dude. Thanks for bringing me on. All right, man. We'll be right back. All right. Oh, wrong scene. There we go. All right. Well, that was Ethan Toder. That was a that was a blast. We we've been needing to have him on for a long time. What are you doing? Why are you sitting there like that? You look frozen almost. I wonder if anyone noticed anything about you in this episode. You know, the hat that he is currently wearing, I bought for him and I sent to him. I don't know, dude, my hands. Yeah, clearly. And the sunglasses, I didn't buy those for him. But the uh, the uh, the hat and the sunnies. You know, we didn't really talk much about uh, micros. What are your thoughts on uh, on micros? They're not bad. You have a lot of I experience like, with micros, but I do I do like them. I think they're they're going to race well on the small tracks. I think they will be better at Chili Bowl than Millbridge. Hot take. Why do you say um, that? I'm not. I'm not sold on Millbridge yet. I haven't raced a lot, so that's probably why. Yeah. Um, but I'm not 100 percent sold on Millbridge yet. It's um, it's fun. I I was running the bottom earlier in the non-wing and having a uh, 
good time at it, but I, I'm I'm agreeing with Ashton here. I, I think they're better at the Chili Bowl and um the non wings better at Millbridge, but I like the winged better dry team style wise. Really? See yeah. I to be honest, all of it I I did I didn't stream last night because I didn't have very much time, but I did have enough time to get on and, and run like one race and rip some laps. Uh, so I do have some initial impressions and I am way more impressed with them than I you can expected actually use to the brake too. Like I was actually, I was just testing and you can use the brake like on entry. Yeah. Like to use. And I, that night last night when we were racing a little bit, I was <laughs> using the brake and like, it helped me a lot and was making me faster actually. I know that's probably that's dumb and wrong. I just but I expected the the winged one to be boring. Like all this downforce, such a small amount of power. It's actually a little bit more power than I expected, but it's they were actually there was actually a lot of fun and then the non-wing was a little bit more fun than I expected, but I expected that one to be fun. So yeah. uh, I I I enjoyed uh running uh, the the laps that I made last night and the race that I ran like it was they're really fun. I I like Millbridge. Uh, it's dude. It is it is a it's just so fun to go up there and rip around the cushion around the wall like because I've seen a lot of videos of people like that's what they're doing is they're in a non wing micro just absolutely ripping up top at, at Millbridge and to go out yeah. and actually be able to do it myself. I was like, damn, this shit is actually fun. Like they, uh, they're, they're fun. I, I enjoy yeah. them a lot. Millbridge is, uh, I, I like Millbridge. I don't know. I haven't tried them on the chili bowl yet, but I'll, I'll probably get, give that a, a rip tonight, uh, just to see, but I, I enjoy them. I think this was a really solid update. The rain, I haven't tried the rain, you know. I haven't tried the rain. I'm not a road course racer. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm not a I'm not a, a road course guy either. I, I do prefer uh, road course racing over asphalt oval, but if I'm going to be on iRacing racing, ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time, I'm going to be on a dirt oval. So, uh, but the oh, rain the race. rain is just it's good to have. It's good to have. I don't have know that. why. I don't know why, but whenever I race road course, I just get on F one. Yeah, but F one is not very realistic. Like it's it's I an arcade like game. Is it? Yeah, it's this it's a simcade, whatever you want to call it. I don't well, I, t- I turn off all the assists though. Like usually so, it's art. It's still a sim. I mean an arcade. Like it's Yeah, not, but I I just like the graphics better, I think. It it does look very good. Um but And the sound. What one thing that I think is a good thing is that now that rain has been implemented, obviously they still have some work to do with it, implementing it with other cars or whatever, but that is a huge project to have nearly completed. Now, what other things can they work on now that they're done with with rain? With rain? You know what I mean? Like We might could see some really big improvements in other areas, not even just like dirt. Like, yeah, we could... They could expand the weather. You know, we could have earthquakes. You know what I mean? Uh, no, it's, uh, but it, it's it was a it's a good update. I'm I'm glad. I think. Have you gotten on today? You hadn't gotten on today, have you? I made I made like ten laps earlier on the bottom using the brakes. But what I was gonna say is uh, the the UI. Did they fix the UI? Because that shit was annoying yesterday. I have no idea. No. Oh. Well, but it hopefully was that fixed. Yesterday. Yeah, the UI was very annoying yesterday. The I way hate it was... UI. I still miss the website. I'm sorry to all the people that think the UI is good. The UI sucks, mm. and the website is better. And the fact that you still have to use the website for payment and stuff. No, you don't. I paid for Millbridge. Uh, yeah, Millbridge and the SRX cars yesterday using the ui now i couldn't use I paypal but I, I entered my card information and bought everything through the ui whatever dude whatever dude you know what one thing about uh that i had seen that's good about the ui is that the ui forcing everyone to use the ui is better for like the anti-cheat because there was some it was 
there was some ways or like it was easier to find ways to work around uh the anti-cheat using the, cheat? I don't there know. is no cheats yes there 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 are they're slim you know they're they're few and far between and they're rarely used and not used probably by any of us idiots on dirt oval but there are cheats on iRacing where do or I get were. those? Howard, how I think Howard Weaver sold those. Actually. Howard, uh, yeah, Howard, I know is a dealer. Um, I believe Ethan that we just had yeah, on. Yeah, Ethan, he's a dealer. Yeah, um, I, I am. I have a promo code actually for the cheats yeah. uh, because obviously I'm a cheater. Um, if you ask that dude, I that made that post been. about me. <laughs> um. So we got a uh, we have the NWRA finale season finale at Volusia Monday night. Um, not really sure how that's gonna go. Uh, Volusia and officials uh, last season was very boring in my opinion. Once it came to the feature, it just was so one lane, especially in three and four. So we'll have to see. What's gonna happen? I mean, well, we no. haven't tested on the new build. You know, it might, might get, you know, we, what if we get, you know, a slick middle or, you know, have a little grip, grip strip. Oh my God. Grip strip on the bottom grip up top. What if that's the only two places you can run, you know, get a little two lane racing. Who knows? We'll just have to see, but I'm sitting fifth going into the final round. No yeah, I'm shot. Sitting on. I think I have no shot really of winning the points going into the final round but i mean a top five in points would would be great to bring home i think i might have a chance at a top three but last week killed me in points yeah man you should have (laughs) lifted i had to text this guy and be like hey man i am sorry i know i ruined your race i don't care oh anymore but like it ruined my chances of beating nathan in points yeah that was kind of the the play there was you know, this is what has to be done. If he dies, he and, uh, dies. Yeah. What's uh what's coming up for you uh in, in real life? What's the, the next race on the schedule? Um head to Kansas City this weekend with the girlfriend for to celebrate a friend's birthday. And then uh next weekend, not this weekend, the twenty second, the twenty third, we'll be headed to Memphis, Missouri, Scotland County Speedway. I think it's called. I'll have more on that next week. Um, but it's a two-day show. Uh, big half mile. It's the track I flipped at last year, though. So I'd be racing. I'd be racing a mods. You're gonna be racing a mods. I would be. Yeah. Nice. It's a big flat half mile. It's massive. All right. But well, we were really good there last time. Just flipped it. Ah. Running fourth or something. Too much dig. No. Nah, what happened yeah. to that one? I don't remember what happened. I got under. I got. Up, I got under that dude. The next night, I went to Quincy and I smoked him. But was that that? That was that night. You sent me a picture of the car. Uh, whenever you were at a gas station. No. Or was that? That was no. a different time that you flipped. <laughs> I didn't even talk about it. I don't think because I think I just we flipped and then. I left. Hmm. Like I, I if we like I didn't talk, uh, say anything to anyone really until like the next day after the race is Sunday. Oh, you were just locked in, getting this shit fixed yeah. and going. No, oh, that's understandable. But it was a fun place. It'd be exciting. Yeah, predictions. We we going out there and winning it. I don't know about winning it. It'd be nice to run two top five though. So. I don't know who's all gonna be there, and if it's a I. I'll be on American Racers changing some more shit like to different rule package. So kind of learning still too. But what rule package is it? They're allowing UMP stuff, but I got I'm gonna be probably like under USRA rules. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. That's for my it would help me out a little bit in a way. Yeah. But new tires, I don't really run American Racers a lot. I've heard American Racers are better than Hoosier. Yeah. So, I don't know. But, Again, uneducated. <laughs> Are you ready to wrap this thing up? Give us a, a front flip. And let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready to wrap this thing up, sister. I got to take my Uggs off. So. Yeah. 
Leave the bar behind. If you ain't, if you ain't hugging, you ain't thugging. <laughs> oh, brother. There we go. Oh, he took the Barbie hat off. I'm going to land on. You're about to witness a murder. Here we go. Damn, squished. And he, he, he's been adding that recently. What is this? Oh, brother. Dude, the whole setup just shook, and it did it again. How we do? That wasn't bad. I witnessed I felt a murder. Like I actually, like, flipped. I like, mean, without using my hands to help me. I mean, you kind of landed on your back. Yeah, but I didn't use my hands. Oh, we'll have to go back and watch the tape, but. It wasn't bad. Like you, you, like every other time I've used my hands to propel me to flip me more. Yeah. But that time that was just straight straight just legs and I was pretty close. <laughs> you you're getting really excited about that. You know what you need to do one time just to throw everybody off is like lower get, the bed. Well, yeah, lower the bed and also get like a little mini trampoline and set it just outside of the camera and then like just get a huge amount of air, like land on your feet and be like, dude, I had some serious hops that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. All right. Well, that's, uh, you got anything else? I think that's it. Man. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of the Plum Wild podcast. Thank you again to Majula C Speed Shop for sponsoring tonight's episode. This was their, uh, their final, uh, episode of sponsorship, at least for now. Uh, so we appreciate them for sponsoring uh, the last eight episodes, coming on board and uh, supporting us. And uh, you can go to uh, cfmesports.com, use code PLUMWILD for 15% off for myself and Damian Kiefer. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you right back here in the next one.